My name is Esteban Leon Ham, and I'm from here, Mexicali, and I'm going to show you my town. Mexicali was, it is the only town in, as a border town in whole Mexico that was founded by the Chinese people. The American uh, company, which is called Colorado River Company, hired about 5,000 uh, uh, Chinese workers to work on the farm. This place was a completely plain desert. But yet, the Chinese people took the agreement with the, uh, this company and did start opening the agriculture in cotton. And the quality that was produced here in Mexicali because of the weather, the extreme weather, was a super supreme product. Those are not old pala. This is a little typical Chinese restaurant that has been here for years. We come uh, very frequent, yeah. They do a great pigeon here. Uh, and it's very popular in the whole Baja California, the whole Mexico, here in Mexico. Mexico City has a bigger uh, Chinese population, but yet uh, here is more compact and more tighter and more well organized, let's put it that way. Yeah, it's not the most beautiful town in the world. It's not too modern as well, and, and the climate is very extreme. Actually, we get to 105, 110 Fahrenheit in uh, summer. Well, it's outrageous, actually. You can only, I can define it by one word. This is one of the traditional Chinese restaurants that has found, it started at the, at the beginning of the century. It's a, actually it's a f fusion between a uh, Chinese cake and a Mexican cake. It's been very successful. Uh, and, the other, and the other really successful item was the coffee, the Chinese coffee, what we call it here. This coffee is a special coffee, actually. Tastes different. I have been tasting it in Los Angeles, and it's very different in the flavor. We have a special ingredient there that makes it different, actually. Actually, this property belongs to the Wong Association. This is a, uh, they have their own meetings here. Their purpose is to help all the monks, members. I think for 100 years we have been able to, success, to be successful here. Mainly is the intention of the community that want to help each other member. Señor Ramon, ¿cómo está usted? Oh, I'm retired, actually. This Chinese Association has been taking all my rest of the, my time of retirement, but I'm enjoying it. Tell, tell, tell us, what is your name? My name is Eric Fanchen. You like the, to come here? Yes. Okay, good. Hopefully we can achieve a, uh, a new generation that can handle the two, three languages and know their roots and their culture. Every day that we look into our mirror and as we see a Chinese face, it's very important for us to feel and to know that we are Chinese people. Regardless if we're eating uh, rice every day or maybe frijoles every day, is to know where you're coming from.